Now, usually when an NFL player is throwing hands in the offseason, it's a bar fight and it's not a good situation. But Minnesota Fighting Vikings 3-Tech Hercules Mata'afa has been putting in some work in the lab with a pen and a pad in the sweet science department, man. And you'll see players... Uh, NFL players often do boxing or MMA, martial arts training uh, in the offseason. Jay Glazer, Fox Sports, he's famous for NFL players showing up to his MMA gym and putting in that work. And especially with linemen, because you always talk about that punch, that just getting off the line, getting your hands into your opponent. Quick hands make the man, and being able to disrupt and control your opponent, getting angles and leverage, it's huge, especially for defensive tackles. Uh, uh, Aaron Down doesn't do knife work because he expects to be in a knife fight anytime soon. No, it's all about work with the hands and with her 2018 UDFA come now Washington State undersized but heart and hustle I love him man he came in as 250 pound defensive tackle from Wazoo and he man, a unanimous all-american 2017 and he simply has not gotten the time of day where 2018 he towards ACL rookie camps of fortune although 2020 What's his best season? Two and a half sacks, 19 pressures, 10% pressure rate, solid for a defensive tackle, but he only played like around 300 snaps. It's not great. And Patterson and Zimmer have talked that even with Diesel Dalvin Thompson in the building, he's going to be early down three tack and probably passing down nose tackle. There is room for a quick penetrating three tech and I know a lot of the talk has been around six round pick Jalen Twyman out of Pitt I love him as well uh, or but maybe it's going to be Herc this year as he's in a contract season or maybe James Lynch free James Lynch right now Herc had bulked up to 289 last year trying to be that every down a uh, three tech but he does look slimmer here I, I would say maybe 270s somewhere in there which is fine uh, I don't know if Herc will ever be a three down defensive tackle same thing with Twyman same thing with James Lynch but they don't have to be. Uh, that's the thing about defensive linemen. You can rotate in situations down and distance, certain uh, sub packages, and you can be effective, man. You can be a big part of the defense and don't have to be out there every single down. Uh, but uh, I also, I want him slimmed down. I want him quick and sleek out there. Maybe not 250, but 270 walking around, I think that's perfectly fine. Because if you look last year, so this is from the 2020 offseason when he got up to 289. Uh, he definitely looks a little thicker, which I mean, just like all of us in 2020, right? Uh, but he did it intentionally uh, because he was trying to put his hat in the ring uh, to be a, a larger part of the Vikings defensive line rotation. But he's got hands, man. Uh, he really does. He's got some nice combos going. Southpaw. Got a decent flow. Now, obviously, I'm rooting for him in football. But if this doesn't pan out... Maybe he's laying the groundwork for an MMA career. What up? He's already a fan. And also, I believe he wrestled in high school. And having a wrestling background, if you're getting into MMA, it's a big advantage because you get to decide where the fight's going to be. Yes, you, you do start standing up. But if the wrestler wants to take you down, especially if he's a quality one, he'll just shoot a double. It's like, oh, we're on the ground now. It's great. And his walk around weight, like we said, when we came to the league was... 250-ish, so yeah, 265 heavyweight, that would be no factor, but maybe he can, I don't know, shrivel down to 205 light heavyweight? That might be too big of a cut. Even though light heavyweights are typically like 230 walking around, but they just shrink on that Friday, which is not healthy, by the way, but that's an argument for another day. But football players have moved into MMA before. You look at Brandon Schaub, you look at Herschel freaking Walker, who, the ageless wonder, you look at Greg Hardy, and you look uh, uh, at, of course, former Minnesota Fighting Vikings legends, Matt Matrone, Bob Sapp, and Brock Lesnar. Woo! All right, so like I said, I'm still hopeful about Hercules on the football field, but, you know... If it doesn't work out, I'd be hyped to see him in the UFC eventually. You know, get on to Bellator, work his way up. I, uh, also, he's already got a good nickname, Bad Mata Afa. It'd be good. But mm, football first. I, I think that he can find himself a role uh, in this 2021 Minnesota Fighting Vikings defense. Wouldn't be one of the best in the league. But your thoughts? Hercules got hands, man. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.